Hello, today I'll be doing a versus video. This time we'll be comparing two thrash metal classics. And those albums are Coma of Souls by Creator and Arise by Sepultura. And these albums are my favorites from these bands. And on top of that, I would say these albums are some of the best albums to come from thrash metal, especially during the classic era of thrash metal, 80s, early 90s. Really good stuff here. So this is definitely probably one of the tougher versus videos for me personally, but let's first start talking about Creator's album, Coma of Souls. It was produced by Randy Burns, who's also worked with Megadeth and Dark Angel, if I remember correctly, two other really great bands. But yeah, this album definitely, again, has to be my favorite from Creator. And when it comes to production, I think this album, I probably prefer the production on this album over the one on Arise, but I do, I do like the dry production on Arise, but again, I probably like the production on Coma of Souls just a tad more, but yeah, this album is full of creator classics, like especially the first three tracks, When the Sun Burns Red, the title track, and you also have one of their big anthems, People of the Lie, and that was the song that hooked me onto this band. But you have other great songs on here, like World Beyond, which is a bit of a shorter song, a little over two minutes long. But you also have Material World Paranora, uh, Paranoia, and this has to be one of their most underrated songs, in my opinion. Not talked about as much as some of the other songs on the album, and I personally really love it. Honestly, maybe one of my favorite creator songs. Agents of Brutality, another highlight for me on the album. Hidden Dictator, I really dig the instrumentation in that song especially. And Millie's vocals, of course, no surprise, sound great on this album. And this was the album before they began into began doing their experimental period, starting off with, of course, the next album, Renewal. But yeah, this album, again, definitely a thrash metal classic, and don't really have really much in terms of criticisms for this album. I mean, there are, of course, like with any album, there are some songs that, are, of course, stronger than some others, but still, at the end of the day, absolutely love this album. Definitely one of the band's best. Let's go ahead and talk about Arise by Sepultura. And this was produced by Scott Burns, who has also worked with Death and Obituary, two other really great bands. And with this album, uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, this album has a bit drier production. And the production also on this album also kind of reminds me of the production on Justice For All in terms of the dryness of the production or the sound, however you want to put it. But yeah, again, my favorite Sepultura album. Sometimes I might lean towards Beneath the Remains, but for now, Arise is probably my favorite. So many great songs. Um, of course, you have the title track, which is definitely one of their more well-known songs, Dead Embryonic Cells. I mean, it has a killer breakdown, and it, it's one of those songs where, I mean, if it's not in your top 10 list of favorite Sepultura songs, then you're really doing it wrong, because I mean, that song is just so good. Easily one of their best songs. Desperate Cry, another really great song on the album. But I think this album also has some pretty good deep cuts like Murder and Subtraction and Infected Voice. Infected Voice being a song that's grown to be maybe one of my favorites on the album. You have Altered State, which is one of the more longer songs on the album. That's another song that's going to be one of my personal highlights for me on the album. But yeah. Um, their cover of Orgasmatron, um, not one of my favorites on the album, but I don't mind the cover though. But yeah, all around, really great album, Max Cavalera. Of course, I definitely dig his voice on the album, or of course, along with the other albums that he's on with Sepultura. But yeah, with this album, I mean, you really can't go wrong with any of the songs on here. Of course, as I mentioned with Coma of Souls, there are songs on here that are of course stronger than others, but still, all around really great album definitely a classic but yeah if i were to pick which album i like more now honestly my mind on this could really change at any time again definitely a tough one but if i, if I had to choose probably a rise but i wouldn't be surprised if there's days where i might go with coma of souls and if you're one of those people or one of the viewers that's only heard Rise but hasn't heard Coma of Souls, definitely give Coma of Souls a listen. Definitely give it a chance. Really great thrash metal and creator, if I had to guess, probably the most popular of the German thrash big four. And 
Yeah, I actually recently saw them live with Sepultura too. Um, of course, I do have a poster right over here, signed by both bands. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. And yeah, gonna again, gonna have to go with the rise. I mean, while I do, I would say that Coma Souls probably has the, the better sounding production or sound. I do, for me, I probably have to go with the rise. I mean, it's just. It's just so strong, and you know what? There is also the thing that I've probably been—I have been a fan of Sepultura longer than Creator, but still, again, as I mentioned earlier, there might be days where I might go with Coma of Souls, but again, gonna have to go with uh, Arise. I feel like this album probably has the stronger deep cuts, and the highs on this album are really impressive highs. But of course, you can also say the same thing with Coma of Souls. But again, gonna have to go with the Rise. But anyways, let me know your thoughts. Let me know which album you would go with, uh, or is this a tough one for you too? Or are there maybe days where you might go with Arise or days where you might go with Coma of Souls? Let me know some of your favorite or least favorite songs on these albums. Are these your favorites from the band or at least one of your favorites and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment to like, subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.